Are you tired of that same old routine during or at the end of every presentation? You know the drill. You wrap up your slides, ask your students if they have any questions, maybe flash that cliche, any questions slide, and then wait, hoping that someone, anyone, will answer a question and break that awkward silence. But what if I told you that there's a better way? Instead of our having our students be just passive spectators in class, let's make them active participants, where they can ask questions as soon as they think of them without worrying about interrupting your lesson, where they can review their classmates' questions and highlight them if they have a similar question, where you can review all of your students' questions in one place without ever having to leave your PowerPoint presentation. This feature is part of ClassPoint, a PowerPoint add-in to make your presentations more interactive and engaging. When you present with ClassPoint, you have a whole host of interactive questions and presentation tools, including this Q&A feature. For your students to use this Q&A feature, start your lesson in slideshow mode and invite them to join in your class. To do this, you can click on the class code in that top corner and invite them to scan the QR code using their mobile device or by just going to classpoint.app using any browser. From there, they can type in the class code and their name. Or you guys can copy this URL and share it with your students via email or chat and we'll automatically put in that class code for you. Once students are joined in, they'll be able to see that Q&A box on the bottom of their screen and you can encourage them to submit questions as you're moving through the presentation. They'll also be able to see questions submitted by their, class point, their classmates too. On your side, if any questions come in, you can see the Q&A option on the toolbar and a little red dot. You can open this up at any point during a good break in your discussion or for five to 10 minutes at the end of class. From here, you can see all of the questions that were asked, if any of the students have given the questions a thumbs up. You can also award stars to any of the questions if they were thoughtful um, or if you want to keep track of the questions and who has participated. Then you can dismiss any questions or mark them as answered to keep this area nice and organized. If you do find students are misusing this feature, you can always disable the Q&A and only enable it during certain points in your presentation. This is a great way to receive your students' questions live during your presentation. However, if you want to receive their feedback and check on their understanding during your presentation, you can try out any one of ClassPoint's nine different question types in your presentation to get that feedback, opinions, or other responses from your students. For more information on those features of ClassPoint, take a look at the videos here. Otherwise, don't forget to subscribe to the ClassPoint channel. That way you can stay notified with all the latest ed tech and ClassPoint tips and tricks.